Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Control 2, The Urquan Masters. I'm Chemchak Fisco. Come join me for an old school adventure. Cargo. Nope, not cargo. Vice. Captain, uh, the JLO device on board this vessel is uh, giving me a headache. Please remove it. Now, yeah. Captain, it is foolish to resist. Really? It remains more effective than I thought. You're still able to disobey. Duh. Ah, uh, well. What can I do for you, Captain? You're an asshole. How's it going, Tenari? You okay down there in the cargo bay? It is cold and empty. I could use a thermal blanket. Since it is incredibly boring down here, I am using the opportunity to try and get some sleep. What can you tell me about your race, Tenari? I consider such a question to be intrusive and impolite. But that is consistent with your behavior. What do you want to know? Wow. What do you tell me about your species biology? You mean my superior brain? My mental prowess? Sure. Nah, we'll talk about it. Come on, we're friends. Tell me the scope of your psychic powers. Captain, I don't think you meant to ask about my powers. Didn't you mean to ask about flowers? Yes, Denari. I wish to know about flowers. Flowers are beautiful and smell nice. Now, be a good human and leave me alone. I wish to go now. An Damn. excellent idea, Captain. You must have a great deal of work to attend to. Goodbye. He is such a dick. You're, you're not getting off that easy, asshole. I'm still talking to you. Oh, Captain. It is less than comfy down here in your ship's cargo hold. Please send down some pillows. Now. What can I do for you? Yeah, I'm not sending you pillows. Tell me about your race. I consider such a question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me about the history of your people. Over 20,000 years ago, my species was happy and carefree. I doubt Living that. a life of peace and contentment on the surface of our world, bent its work. We oh, spent our time gathering foods, creating art, and compelling each other to do the boring chores. Uh -huh. Then, a ship from the sentient milieu landed and, well, <laughs> things got pretty complicated. All right, what's your lie about this? So I know so little about the sentient milieu. Can you describe it? The sentient milieu were a bloodthirsty empire that ruled a large section of the galaxy for thousands of years. Uh-huh. If you've heard that the milieu was a cooperative union of sentient species, it's lies, all lies. Yeah, right. The Urquan were just a part of milieu, but their dark and evil hearts uh -huh. fused the entire association with a sinister ambiance. Sure. After you took them over. Tell me about the war between your species and the sentient milieu. Well, after we'd been in contact with the milieu for a while, they decided to kill all of our species. Now, does that sound like a reasonable, friendly bunch of aliens? Hmm? Huh? Does it, Captain? No, it wow. does not. Well, the war was over pretty quick. My species lost. Instead of just killing us, the Urquan modified our genes. Our children were born non-sentient. Dumb animals. For the past 20 millennia, we Denari have been serving the Urquan in the most demeaning way they could imagine. Acting as mindless translators who communicate the words of inferior races. That speaks volumes about you guys and about the Urquan's condescension. What can you tell me about biology? Yeah, we're gonna skip that. Okay, I've heard That's enough. That's good. I was getting sleepy. Because we know he's just gonna make us talk about flowers. Much the same as the last time you asked me. However, I have found a way to amuse myself. I'm listening in on the mental energies of your crew. It's really quite fun. For instance, did you know both Ensign's Holiday and Wachuki want to reproduce with you? Haha, <laughs> it's true. Excuse me? I... Okay. <sighs> I guess it's asking for advice. I don't want to, but let's go ahead. The first thing I do is to make sure I have a strong ship and fleet. Okay, Denari, you can go back to sleep now. Goodbye, human. Dick. Okay. That was a unproductive conversation. Let's move on. Okay, so the only way we're going to be able to get to the freaking, uh, Chinjetsu at this point is we've got to redirect the Ilrath. That's... Well, you'll, you'll see. We're, we're going to go do that now. It, it, it'll make sense when it happens. Okay, this must be the right solar system. Let's go ahead and use the device. Listen! It is the hideous and inspiring voices of our gods, Dogar and Kazan. Oh, great gods of evil and darkness. 
What can your humble and devious servants do for you? This is gonna be sweet! Worship us! From the chambers of pain, we know we hear your words. Cruel and evil lords of darkness. And as your voice crackles out of the speaker boxes, it sends thrills across our carcasses. Our hairy quills all stand erect, and we pant and wheeze with holy fever. Oh, that's fervor. Gods, you are the definition of all that is evil and hideous in this universe. Thanks. You are the inspiration for all cruelty, deception, and pain. Well, one out of three ain't bad. We thank you. Oh, let's see. We're required that you do things a bit differently. Your will is our inspiration. What shall we do? We must stay forward, say warship instead of worship. As you wish, glorious, unmerciful destructors. In all future warship, we will honor you in this way. From this day forward, say we instead of we. Yes, great Dogar. Yes, mighty Kazon. Do we certainly will. Do we certainly will. Wow, these guys are stupid. Say you boo instead of you. It shall be so, great ones. You boo are mighty. You boo are the most hideous and deceitful. We Iraq are too You said we, it's supposed to be to me. You boo to worship. You're supposed to say worship. You're saying it wrong. You're no longer the old wrath, you're now the deal rats. We the deal rats. Bow and scrape off our appendages in your honor, mighty Dogar and Kazon. Well, that was largely unproductive. You're sufficiently graced. Go and kill some kill gruesomely in our name. We can never receive sufficient direction from you, great masters. We eagerly await your next vile commandment, sir. Oh really? Heed these words, our evil children. Leave this place. Seek new prey. Oh, mighty Dogar. Oh, mighty Kazan. Your devoted servants hear your words and obey your divine and cruel insights. The Pakunk are unfit for our sacramental tortures. We relish the prospect of killing worthy prey. We will leave immediately so that we can begin our glorious evil devotion. But who shall we prey upon next? Who shall suffer our inspired torment? Hmm. Didn't those lonesome Umga once mention a race near their region of space? Hmm. Yes, I have it. The Fredash. We will go now and kill all of them. And that is why we had to finish the Ark of Thredash first. Because these two idiots are gonna wipe each other out. We return now to the Feather Darkness. Obey our commands. Farewell, Dogar and Kazan. We are awed by your malevolent presence and swear unto you to commit even more violent, treacherous deeds tomorrow than we did today. But glad I could help. Um, yeah, get right on that. So now, theoretically, they shouldn't be protecting uh, the planet anymore, so we can actually go help the Chingesu. There it is, Procyon. We'll just zip over there real quick, and uh, the Illrath should technically be gone, even though they're still in this region of space for now. I should also make the Pekunk really, really happy. Crap, they're still here? Shouldn't they be leaving? I call shenanigans. Whoa, 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 whoa! Accelerate! Don't go to that planet. Damn it. Okay, are they still guarding the planet? Do we have to wait till they're totally gone? No, we're in the clear. Sweet. Alright, so... I need to... Devices. Uh, hey guys. Once more you interfere with the process, why? 
I guess we'll find out what they're doing down there, because we found the device. So your ship's design is un- Yeah, they know we're human. Okay. Our wisdom. Okay, so it's just the same thing. Uh... We seem to have acquired a Denari. What do you make of it? Whoops, wrong button. We know the Denari only from legend, where they are described as the embodiment of evil and cruelty. If ever there was a devil, Captain, it was the Dinyari. However, if in fact the creature you possess is one of this ancient breed, its mental power may be useful to help confuse the Urquan. One can hope. I, uh, borrowed a device from the Micron. Do you know what this is? We do not recognize this device, but it appears to be a precursor tool which can radiate a great amount of energy. Thanks, that's enough of a nice so device. your presence that's here that's is a painful intrusion. We will always provide advice whenever you request it, Captain. Don't worry, guys. I'll have you out of there in no time. Goodbye, once and future ally, human. Oh, trust me. You're going to be out of that chrysalis in no time. I guarantee it. Hold on to your butts. Ah, that's bright. We are free. Woohoo! You have flooded our synthesis mechanisms with a wealth of radiant energy. Glad I could help. What was supposed to take decades has been accomplished in seconds. What? The process is incomplete, yet we have emerged. We are the truer. Why have you interrupted the process? We struggle to free all races from the Earth One. We need your help. You are the key to winning back freedom for our alliance. We just want to see what you look like with all that orange junk. <laughs> we need your help. Your need must be great for you to have risked so much just to bring us from beneath the shield. We were not ready, but this is now in the past. What is done is done. You are intent on stopping the Urquan. Very well. We are prepared to assist you in whatever way we can. We must first tell you that even before we were placed under the Slave Shield, we realized that the only way to truly defeat the Urquan was to first destroy their precursor battle platform, the Samatra. This vessel was responsible for the victory of the hierarchy over the Alliance. When it was brought to bear against our worlds, we could not resist it. This must be your priority. This must be your eventual goal. Okay. We know what is necessary to achieve this end. But first, we must know what you have already learned. So we will scan the data banks and logs aboard your ship. There. The process is complete. Now we can discuss what you must do. You need to locate the Urquan's Samatra vessel. If you cannot find it yourself, ask those others who are near the Urquan. Perhaps they will know. We have detected the presence of a Dnyari aboard your ship. Though the being is darkly evil and incredibly dangerous, the Talo device you possess has effectively nullified the creature's power over you. However, it will do a most excellent job distracting the Urquan long enough for you to approach the Samatra and destroy it. To defeat the Urquan, you must first destroy the Samatra battle platform. The only way we can envision this occurring is for you to detonate a huge explosive device adjacent to the battle platform at point-blank range. We believe that the only weapon which can generate sufficient destructive force is a matter-antimatter bomb, but we cannot build one ourselves. Return when you have gathered the resources we have described. Yeah. 
You seem to have superior technology. Would you share this with us? We will provide you with the designs for a new class of fighting ship. Yeah! The Avatar, along with enough chiller to command however many vessels you may build. Sweet! Avatar battleships are much more effective than our brood home or x form vessels. In competent hands, these ships can defeat any ship in space. Damn right. Can you give us further assistance now? We cannot help you until you have gathered the necessary resources. Understandable. We're gonna find the super weapon you described, although I already know the outwig happened. There are rumors of such a device, a precursor planetary tool, to be found somewhere far towards the core in the possession of a non-hostile alien race. We cannot provide any more information at this time. Farewell. We'll be back when we get everything we need. We await your return. We unlock the Chimmer ship. The Avatar. We are gonna kick ass now. I love their ship. It's so freaking powerful. Finally gonna be able to win some battles, man! My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me and I do hope you enjoy them. So you all take care of yourselves and if you want to see more of me, kill up a video on the list or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below. Please remember to take that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well everyone.